So hi, welcome back. We're gonna continue our writing of faces. So lastly, we we stopped at the uh, small x videos, small x plane, uh, small x plane where we have the least y and z. Then we add z. Then we add y, subtract z, and then we we find that uh, that's how OpenFORM actually writes the file. Okay, so we have the small x plane done with. Let's move on to this. 7, 15, 12, and 4. Okay, so 7, 15, 12, and 4. Where is 7, 15, 12, and 4? Okay, 7 is here. Okay, 7 is here. Where is 7? 11, 1, 1, and 0. Should be this one. Yeah, right at the end. 7 is here. 15. So we add the Z first. 12. Twelve and four. Twelve. We subtract. We subtract uh, y. Seven, fifteen, twelve, and four. Four should be one, zero point four, and zero. Four should be one, four, and zero point zero, and indeed it is. So one, two, three, four. That's how OpenFOAM uh, defines it. 7, 15, 12, and 4. So let's go to our paint and see what it looks like. 7 is here. We have the max x and y. 15 is here. 12 is here. 4 is here. So this is one of the planes. You notice you didn't start at the least x, uh, least z and y. But it still gives us the anti-clockwise kind of a direction because we are looking from outside the box. So that's how it should look like. Okay. Tenth face is here. Okay, so we kind of uh, we are seeing a pattern already. Okay, well we didn't start from the least the uh, uh, z and y. But if we did, and we still want to move anti-clockwise, let's say we start from here, we can increase y, increase z, and subtract y. So these are what planes? These are the large x planes. Can you see? These are the big x because it increases in the x direction. Uh, these are the big x planes, and then we will go in anti-clockwise direction. So one, two, three, four. So the easiest is always to start from the least y and z, right? Least y and z. What do we do first? We need to add y, add z, and subtract y. Add y, add z, subtract y. I want you to notice a pattern right now. Okay. Can we see that for the Z planes, as we start from the least X and Y, we add Y, we add X, then we subtract Y. So these two are kind of the same, except one is adding, one is subtracting. Now if we go for the large Z plane, it's in the opposite direction. Can you see? Least X and Y, we add the Y, we add the X, then we add the Y, then we subtract the X. Same for the X plane. Least Y and Z, add Z, add Y, subtract Z. And then when we go to the, oh, this should be a large. When you go to the large, the order kind of swaps around. You go from add y, add z, subtract y. So it's in the counterclockwise direction. That's why uh, the directions are kind of opposite. <coughs> Can we make a prediction for the small y planes? Of course we can. So for the small white planes, okay, so this I want to color it a bit a darker green. Small white planes, we start from the least, x and z, add x, add z, subtract x. So this is the pattern that we are observing. Let's see whether this actually works, right? 
this one also color bit a little darker okay and then we shall move back we want to move back and then we'll see whether that can that pattern can work okay but uh, anyway let's take a look at the next file we have seen 7 15 12 and 4 I believe so this is a 7 15 12 and 4 the next plane where, where will the next plane be 4 12 11 and 3 so let's take a look 4 is here 12 should be here 12 should be here 11 should be here which it is 11 and 3 3 is this one the center spot so okay in paint where does it look like 1 2 and 3 this little flat plane here it's a bit hard to see but I'll just leave it you should get the pattern by now uh, okay so what plane is this this is a well if this is the box here this is a small white plane small white plane all right so we have a small white plane here small white plane so small white planes we what do we have it let's check our prediction we start from the least x and x and z we add x and we add z then subtract x but uh, we started from the we did not start from the least x and z all right instead we started from here we have a large x that's why it's a bit different but let's see if it's still uh, in this same uh, sort of clockwise direction if we get it from this way so what's the direction we are doing we just now were trying we are trying predicting we add x we add, add z then subtract x so let's use the purple this is we add x we add z then we subtract x can we see it's still going in this uh, clockwise direction so it's the same thing no need to worry yeah we got it so let's, let's just quickly run through the last few planes 3, 11, three 11, 9 and 1 we can almost uh, predict this will be the this will be the ones okay 3, 9, 11 and 1 okay 3, 9, 11, 1 and the last one it should be because you can see the pattern already okay so this is the pattern I'm talking about so see one then it snakes to the back then it snakes this way and then it should it should go to this way okay so that is the 13th phase so let's just check whether it's really the case okay so uh, okay we look at 3 11 9 and 1 3 is here let's see whether this is 3 yeah indeed it is 9 should be the top one Nine is here. Let's see. Okay. Oh, three, eleven, nine, one. Sorry, three, eleven. Eleven should be on top. Indeed, here. So three, eleven, nine, which is this, and one. So you can see the pattern one two three four and it's just like we predicted oopsie wrong file <coughs> excuse me 
one, two, three, four. Then the last one, okay? Okay, one, two, three, four. The last one will, should be one, two, three, and four. So it goes back to zero, zero, zero. So it should be, okay, one, nine, eight, zero. Let's check it. One is here. Nine is. <coughs> nine is here. Eight is here. Which is this? Zero is back at the origin. So, that's how OpenFoam writes the files. <coughs> well, that's how we write files for OpenFoam. You see, it goes back to the origin. Same thing. So we have six uh, ways of writing the faces. <coughs> and the other thing I want you to note, okay, we don't need to write faces, they are enclosed inside. So let's say the face is here. Okay, there's no need to define boundary conditions for that, excuse me, for that, pit, that face. Okay. Yeah, there's no need to define boundary conditions for that face. <laughs> Excuse me, the hiccuping there. Yeah. No need to define boundary conditions for that face, cause, well, yeah, you just don't need that. Cause it's inside the box, it's inside, there's no boundary condition needed. So, excuse me, we are free to, yeah, just leave it be. Okay, so, now we, now we have a way of uh, writing all these phases down, so no problem. Yeah, got a bit of a hiccup. Hope you pardon me. Anyway, so we have all this uh, here. And what we can do is, yeah, we found the correct way of writing the phases. Then we can extend this uh, methodology to our flat plate problem flat plate problem yeah and you'll see where we go from there i'll see i'll see you guys next time excuse me all right bye bye i'll try to recover from these hiccups